All right, welcome back to Dead in Vinland. We're gonna go over here and take a look at this thingy. I don't know what it is, the abandoned camp. Um, let's see, check the bags, why not? Courage and crafting? Well, all right, Eric, if you insist. Most of the bags are empty, and those which aren't, well, they are full of rot and animal filth. Search the filth, take the empty bags. Uh, take the empty bags? With a bit of work, you unstitch some bags and retrieve the fabric. You look at your work, not bad considering the state of the fabric. Well, I definitely don't need more fabric, though. Maybe I should have... Anyway. Uh, check the fire... Well, again, Eric, if you insist. You search in the ashes. You don't know why or how, but you feel drawn to the fire pit. You remove burnt wood and stones until you find it. Hidden in the ashes, a necklace made of strange golden teeth. It looks unburned. That's odd. Inspect the necklace. Uh, you're pondering the possibility of this trinket being a blessed blessing from the whitest of gods, a guardian of the Bifrost. You decide it is and proudly fasten the necklace around your neck. Uh, it should protect you against Loki's tricks. Okay. A luck charm. Well, we know what to do with the luck charm. We are going to use it. Actually, I kind of need an on you stash, because he's doing our water gathering. Um, so, there you go, my boy. Alright, well, that took care of that. Let's take a look and see what Thor has for us. Talk, Eric. Friend of Thor, Thor has a new challenge for you. Courage challenge, the one who stays the longest in Dark Cave of Horror. What do you say? It's not for me, but I know someone. Bring him to Thor, then. A friend of Thor's friend is Thor's friend. Ha 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 ha. Well, let's see. Kari, your courage. Yeah, your courage is good. And if you get a buff, that'll be good. Courage, 60, 60. Oh, man, I'd love to get it on you stash, though. Whatever it is. Let's see what his odds are. Not you. You. Uh-huh. I'm in. Let's see what their chances are. Oh my god, 8%. Yikes. Ah, uh, nightmares. <laughs> yeah. You want to try that again, you stash? Sure, why not? 8% is still 8%. Nope. All right. Well, we got mead. Drink up, buddy. Excited. What does excited give you? No, oh, that's good. Ah, uh, courage is minus ten if you have nightmares. That sucks. Well, let's try it with Kari, then. Or not Kari. Uh, Shauna. Yeah, I know. It's going to be like 8%. 10%. Oh, <gasps> she did it! You give it your all and win the challenge. It's incredible. Thor is very surprised. You feel mighty. Courage contest winner. Ha 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 ha. Well done, my friend. Come back again. Thor will have another challenge for you. Shauna. Courage plus 10. Effects resistance plus 20. That's good. Too bad. I could have used that on uh, East Ash, though. Get his effects resistance up, and I can start attacking with Berserk Attack more often. Poop. Alright, let's talk. What do you got? New challenge. Crafting challenge. The first one to finish building a hut. What do you say? I'm in. 50%. Oh, Eric. It crumbles on your head, and now you have injuries. And head trauma. Oh, my God. Try again, Eric. Yep. Yep. Nope. Okay. Buddy. You gotta do better than that. You can do it, Eric. I'm in. Oh, my God. 350% fails in a row. What are the odds? You don't actually even need crafting. I'm in. 
Oh my god, 5%. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Of course, head trauma. Well, that sucks. We had everything planned out, and then that happened. Alright, canoe. Eric. Uh, Moira. Focus on injuries, yep. Yeah. Boy, that sucks. Okay. Well. Yeah, I need water. Guard dog. So Valor's going to set up guard dog for us. Uh, I guess you're going to garden now. Tomoe, you'll beast handle because why not? Baby Atla is born during the night. Yep, she sure is. Blodoed, you could work on some crafting for me. Uh, I want to work on anti-depression. Well, that's the situation. Let's, uh, let's go. Hopefully she'll heal these. Max Wisdom. Okay. Bloodwed. Yep. Nice. You did it. Like I said, I want that. Give me some water, you stash. this done so it's done. Oh, we gotta feed these guys or they're gonna die. Yeah, good thing we got water going. Okay. Smelly! Smelly! Fifteen vegetables. And hemp. And we don't have anything to cook with. That was not well planned. Not well planned! Unless we find meat in this new zone. Not that we needed it, but whatever. Scouting! And an encounter. We're gonna do it. Why is your health down? Health is minus two because of Crazy Berserker. An experienced warrior. What does experienced warrior give you? Accuracy and dodge? Okay. Okay. It's not a bad fight. We can handle it. Let's get the slaver first, I want to say. says no. Alright then. Sniper shot? No, we can do one more attempt. Effects resistance plus 40. That might explain it. Oh my god. On both of them? Really? What about on him? Yeah. What the hell, man? I wish it would tell me what my odds were. Like, do I have any chance of getting it? Any? No idea. Alright, slaver. Wow, one point. Great job. Alright. 
So he has ample whip, which I think can hit everybody. I'm not sure. Wow, you're actually going before Kari because of that bonus you got. Cool. That's interesting. Um, right. Well, let's just do melee strike. And bull charge. Okay. Kari, I'm going to have you just do two sniper shots from the rear. Zero damage. Nice. One damage. Great job. And snare. Please miss. Or resist. Oh my god, I gave her resistance and she's still... Come on! Zero to zero? What the hell? Ha! Oh. That sucks. Stash, what can you do? Zero to three or two to five. Let's go for the drunkard elite then. Good. And with luck. Good. Damage resistance plus two. Effects resistance plus 40. Yeah. Alright, well, I just want to move you forward, and we got the AP for it, so go. Ha! Give it a shot. Of course, it doesn't work. Ha! Nice. At least we hit him for some damage. Just need to hit him one more time, Kari. Come on. Ha! That's all you needed. Okay, I'm not afraid of this attack. Okay, this one's a little more wrong. Damn it, five damage? Really? All right, it's uh, balls to the walls. Nice. Man, you stash, it's kind of nice when you have uh, initiative. Berserk attack. That's perfect. Fractured leg? Come on. Wow, even more raw vegetables. Okay, well, this is unusual. So, you stash, I'll put you on exploration. Let's try again to knock off Eric's issue. And let's take care of Kari while we're at it. Who is going to scavenge? Bloodwed, you might as well cook. Yeah, choose recipes. Uh, let's... I'm glad we had our fish. That's good. We can do something with it cooked meal. Oh, you know what? We could also check our traps. We got meat. Let's do it. And we got our trap back, too. Okay. 
that's that. Choose recipes. We really don't want to hang on to the vegetables. Four vegetables is what we're going to be left with. We need our fire to be very high. Not 85. There we go. We got some repairs to make. Oops. There we go. What did we find? Yikes. Tied corpse. Surroundings. Intelligence, you say. Let's do it with Blodowed. You decide to look around. This may allow you to understand what happened here, and maybe you'll find some interesting things you will be able to bring to camp. Sure. As you look around, you see several arrows were planted in trunks, but this doesn't look like a battle. It's a rather a training field. Someone who, without a doubt, was trying to master archery and shoot at trunks to get better. Was this something the woman who's... Was this someone, the woman who's dead now? You'll never find out, but you're sure about one thing. There's something odd about those arrows. Examine the arrows. You meticulously observe the arrows, and most especially their placement in the trunk. There's a mystery with these arrows. You feel like they're hiding something, and you want to find out what it is. You step into the shooter's shoes, and you try to find out where they were at the moment. After many tries, you end up placing yourself in front of the body. The distance and the angle of fire seem to match. Now the shooter was here, but what was their target? The body, yes, but certainly not the bottom. The arrows would be on the ground in that case and not in the trunk, so the top part of the body was the target, but you need to discover which part. That's when you notice an apple in the body's mouth. All of a sudden, an idea crossed your mind. Strong, swift, obvious. What if the target was the apple? What if you tried to shoot in it? Observant. What does observant give you, Bloodwed? Scavenging and exploration. Well, that's too bad, because you don't need either of those. Uh, shoot the apple. Alright, Kari, don't mess this up. Yep. You step in front of the body that seems to be observing you with glassy eyes. Without caring about it, you notch an arrow and aim for the fruit. There's barely a thin space between the victim's teeth where the apple is. You're going to have to be accurate. But why are you doing this exactly? You don't even know yourself, but your guts are telling you to do it, and you're utterly convinced that you have to listen to them. There we go. You're so focused that you've stopped breathing. Time seems to have stopped, and eternity seems to have passed when you realize the arrow that blazes right into the apple. You're pretty satisfied with your shot. You look around you, waiting for something to happen. However, nothing. You didn't really know what to expect, but certainly something else than nothing. Disappointed, you turn around, and as you walk away from the body, you hear a laughter behind your back. You turn around, and you're astonished. It's the body itself. You've awoken him from his eternal sleep, and you know it will have consequences. The body laughs so much that the apple in its mouth falls on the ground, so it calms down. It turns its white eyes into yours and starts talking with a spectral voice. When you stride across the fire mountain, find the home of the night beings. That's where you'll find what you're looking for. Then after those words, the body goes back to being silent. You stay still for a long time, and you don't dare moving, frozen by horror after what you've just seen. Then, when you understand the body won't move anymore, you head back to camp, upset by what has just happened, but you keep in mind what you've been told. Okay, I have no idea what that meant. Uh, actually, you know what? Eric, why don't you try Thor again? <laughs> Let's try. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm in. There we go, finally. It's probably going to give you a crafting bonus that you don't need. You give it your all and win the challenge. It's incredible. Thor is very surprised. You feel mighty. Crafting contest winter. Har, 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 har. Well done, my friend. Come back again. Thor will have another challenge for you. What you got, Eric? Oh my god, all kinds of terrible things. Okay. Yep, yeah, crafting plus 10. That's too bad. Ah, Eric, you have all kinds of things wrong with you. Uh, let's see. So, Canute, you're going to craft something for me. What are you going to craft? Rope. 
Yeah, start on the road. Okay. We know what we're doing there. Uh, we need water. Kind of iffy. It'll be okay. Go ahead and have the dog rest. Well, hmm. Here we go. you don't finish it. Uh. Tasty cooked meal. Cooked meal. Tasty vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Okay. Ten fresh fruit. And fatigue. At least we'll get our plowing done. Good. Okay, guys. Give me a fight. I'm up for it. I'm good for it. Nope. Okay. Well. I'm disappointed with this. Let's get stuff repaired. Tavern. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Well, we got to make our water. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Whoops. Didn't mean to use all of it, but whatever. Uh, anything we want to dry over here? Probably not. Nope. We done. We are done. Got our traps laid out. Okay. Fix the fire. Mm, yeah. There we go. Right. Well. Hmm. What's your, what's your next one? I'll forget by the next episode, but let's find out anyway. Cooking challenge! Nah, I'm in. It's not for me, but I know someone. Bring him to Thor. Ha ha ha. Alright, Bloodwed. Are you up for the cooking? 96. What bad thing happens to you if you fail the cooking challenge? I don't know, but let's find out right now. Right now, I say. Let's go for it, Bloodwed. Friend of Thor has a new challenge. Cooking challenge. I'm in. You try to cook a troll's leg. Maybe with a bit of salt? Yeah. You give it... You're all, and win the challenge. It's incredible. Thor is very surprised. You feel mighty. Cooking contest winner. Har, 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 har. Well done, my friend. Come back again. Then Thor will have another challenge for you. What is the challenge, Thor? Friend of Thor, Thor has a new challenge for you. Fishing challenge. The one that catches the biggest fish. What do you say? It's not for me, but I know someone. Ah, you know what, Eric? I'm in. 
You go fishing with Thor. Let's be patient. Nope. You wait for hours near the lake, but nothing bites. You feel depressed, and you have diarrhea. <laughs> of course. Har 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 har. Too bad, my friend. You were close. We don't suffer because, uh... Basically, Eric already has diarrhea. <laughs> so... Uh, depression, 14%. You want to try one more time, Eric? Let's do it, guys. Let's do one more. One more time. It's a good opportunity while we have diarrhea already. Let's be patient. Nope. Alright. Let's try one more time, Eric. There we go. You give it your all and win the challenge. It's incredible. Thor is very surprised. You feel mighty. Fishing contest winner. Ha 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 ha. Well done, my friend. Come back again, Thor. We'll have another challenge for you. What's the next one, Thor? Tell me. Thor has new challenge. Hunting challenge. One arrow. The one who catches the biggest prey. What do you say? Um, it's not for me, but I know someone. Bring him to Thor, then. Ha 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 ha. Yes. All right. What do we got? Scared and fractured leg. All right. Fishing contest. Hey, nice. Minus 15% to depression increases. Cooking contest. Uh, minus 15%. Oh, healing and gardening XP gains. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, well, that'll do it, guys. Let's, uh, let's end the episode. Do we need to do anything else? I don't think so. Right, so Solvig, care for a little chit chat? Oh yes, I'd love to. <laughs> Tell me about your homeland. Oh, we come from a small trading village on the Danish coast. Knut was a blacksmith there while I took care of our children. We were not wealthy, but we were a family. As long as I remember, I saw myself surrounded by kids in a lovely house. How did they end up here? And how did you end up here? One day, the Jarl's guards stormed our house. They were rough and took us to endure the Jarl's judgment. We were expelled from our village, condemned to run as exiles as far as possible. And I don't even know why. My husband doesn't want to tell me the reason. He has been silent since then. Hmm. Reminds me of someone. Oh, I forgot to make food for the sheep. Damn it. Yeah, let's go. Well, I hope they'll be okay. We have a lot of food. Alright, warriors, eat up. Okay, uh, maybe Eric, or, yeah, Eric. Now the rest of you. Zero to thirty. Okay, so this is the one we definitely want to use up. All right, Bloodwed, Solvig, Knut, and Tamoy. Tasty meal. Oh, I forgot the milk again. Okay. Eric, you already have diarrhea, so I ain't gonna hurt you. All right, that's good enough. Let's uh, go to the next day. Hunger went up, probably because of the cannibal thingy. 
All right. Smelly is gone. Insanity, of course. Oh, jeez. Cannibal Curse is gone. Well, that sucks, Eric. We lost one vegetable and two soups. Well, at least the drought is gone. So, Eric. Head trauma is still for five days. I still think we should get rid of it. And then we can worry about this other crap. Oh my god, seriously. Kari, you still have fractured leg and insomnia. Incredible. Incredible. Hey, we got food. That's good. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It was a long one, going through all of Thor's challenges, but we did it. So, uh, when we come back, we'll just continue persevering, get the rest of the island explored so we can get those stupid runes done. I don't know what is up with this cave. Um, this cave is resolved now. I don't know why you would go back. Like, I don't know why they don't get rid of this event. Right? Right? Like, we can't inspect it again, so... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Alright, anyway... Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.